So today I'll be talking about UVs. So which is best, UV sterilizer or chlorinating your water? So first, let me explain how UV works. UV stands for ultraviolet and the radiation from the sun are all UVs. So the sun emits three types of UVs, UVA, UVB and UV, UVC. Out of all these radiation uh, spectrums, UVA is the, is the least harmful and is the one responsible for melanin production. Right now, I'm shooting this video under a blazing sun. The, the radiation coming from this sun is UVA. Okay, so UVB is a little more than UVA in terms of how harmful it is. And strangely, UVB is even the one responsible for the production of vitamin D. Now, UVC is the most harmful, but all thanks to God. Most of the UVC radiation from the sun gets absorbed by the atmosphere even before reaching us. Now, this UVs, right, all emit or produce UVCs. Right, so the radiation is the one used. UVC radiation is is the one used by um, UVs water sterilizers to deactivate the DNA of microbes in your water. When the DNAs of my, of these microbes are deactivated, they wouldn't be able to replicate or multiply. So water flows into here, water flows into here, and comes out from here. There is a light bulb inside this UV right that shines on the bacterially infected uh water right and um by the time the water gets out here the wa the water is already sterilized right now here's the problem with uvs uvs uh work based on flow rate and this uv here is actually a six um, a, a 16 watts um uv and this one and this one here this one here is 25 watts right you see, and we also have 40 watts, we have 55 watts, 60 watts, 110, 220 watts. This 16 watt UV here can sterilize up to about 400 liters of water per hour. 25 watts can do about 1,000 liters of water per hour. Meaning, the, your water flow rate must be 6 liters per minute for this 16 watt UV uh, to work um, efficiently. And this 25 watt UV, can only do as little as 16 liters uh, per minute. So if your water flow rate exceeds sterilization capacity, then your water wouldn't get adequate sterilization to effectively deal with the microbes in your water. So, meaning you have to size your pump against your UV, or you size your UV against your pump, whichever way. But your flow, mustn't, the flow from your pump mustn't uh, exceed the um, required flow rates of the UV you installed. Also, UVs uh, they work best with clear water. So, if your water is dirty, if it's cloudy or it's turbid, the UV radiation wouldn't be able to pass through. Also, another issue with UVs um, is that um, it's best when you place the UV very close to the to your point of use, because UV doesn't have the capacity to treat your water after post sterilization. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Meaning once the water, once the water exits this point, whatever happens, so water gets in from here. The UV bulb is inside here. The UV bulb sterilizes the water as the water passes through the, the, this chamber. Once the water gets out from here, whatever happens to the water from here to your point of use, the capacity or the radiation of the UV wouldn't cover that right wouldn't cover whatever happens from here so when what well, well, once the water exits this point any contact with contaminated water uh, would make your water contaminated okay this, so this is this is what you may not experience if you use chlorination or if you use chlorine to disinfect your water meaning because after chlorination when you have residual chlorine in your water the excess chlorine will deal with any post treatment contamination okay so that's one benefit of using a chlorine over <laughs> a uv so lastly when you have high microbial loads the uv wouldn't be very effective because the number of microbes in your water is so much that the uv ray couldn't reach all the microbes due to the shielding from other microbes or due to the shield other see let's say this is a microbe 
under microbes here. The under microbes in the middle of these two uh, microbes. The light shines from here, shines from here, because these two microbes are blocking the one in the middle here. Okay, so the one in the middle here wouldn't get enough radiation to get that proper uh, contact for the radiation to to to, to affect the DNA and the RNA of that mi microbes. So the 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 more microbes you have in your water, the less effective the uh, UVs, UV radiation will be on the microbes, unless you have a very powerful UVs. So meaning maybe on a, on a normal day, your water uh, flow rate should be about six liters per minute. But upon testing your water, you realize that the uh, microbial load in your water is, is quite high. On a normal day, six uh, watts would have been able to work for you. But because of the load, right, and you still want to use UV, right, because of the load, you may have to go for uh, a UV radiation of about maybe uh, 40 watts, 30 watts. Why? Because you need a powerful UV, um, UV or you, you need a strong UV radiation for you to be able to penetrate, kill the, I mean, kill all the microbes in your water, I mean, uh, so to speak. So finally, when you are sourcing for your UV, make sure the spectrum uh, is between 100 to 280 nanometers. So, which is best, chlorinating your water or sterilizing your water with UVs? Well, it depends, and I will talk about chlorination next time. Bye for now.